I am not having a good hair day today. But it doesn't matter because I am finally testing out the brand new Sailor Moon collection from ColourPop. I have never been this excited for a ColourPop collab in my life. It's even more exciting than Disney. Guys, this is this is epic. ColourPop has actually been getting asked to do a Sailor Moon collection for years and years. I cannot believe this collection is finally here. I love Sailor Moon so much. I used to wake up every single morning and watch Sailor Moon as a kid. It really was such a huge, huge part of my childhood. I mean, if you're around my age, you can relate waking up on the weekends and watching Sailor Moon. Growing up, I used to play pretend Sailor Moon with like my friends and my cousins. I was always Sailor Jupiter. I think it was mainly because I just related to Sailor Jupiter the most growing up. I just really loved Sailor Moon growing up. And when I saw that ColourPop collabed with Sailor Moon, it was just like all oh, my childhood dreams. The collection is really, really cute. You get an eyeshadow palette, two lip bundles, two blushes, and the packaging on this is freaking incredible. And then you get two glitterly obsessed body glitters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup. It's gonna be a nice little chit chat, get ready with me while we test out some Sailor Moon stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the eyes and I'm gonna prime them with the P. Louise makeup base in rumor two. And now I'm gonna go into the palette, guys. Just look at this. And that's not even the best part. Look at the actual palette, like the actual packaging. If that's not the cutest packaging they've ever done in their life, I don't know what it is. 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 This is so freaking cute. We have used this as a meme so many times and now it's on an eyeshadow palette. Even if the eyeshadows suck, I love this. I could have opened this and there could have been 12 eyeshadows that were the exact same color and I still would have been like, ah, beautiful. Just because I love Sailor Moon, so I might be a little biased in this video. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I mean, I'm gonna tell you how I really feel, obviously, but I like ColourPop eyeshadows, so I know this is gonna be great. This palette comes with one glitter, one super shock shadow, and I think the rest are just regular pressed powder eyeshadows. So that's a nice little range. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do, <laughs> but I guarantee you it's gonna be simple. So let's just try out a few of these shades. I'm gonna take Moon Castle in my crisp. She will never turn her back on her friend. She is always there to defend. She is the one on who we can depend. Now I'm gonna take the shade Love and I'm gonna start focusing that color on the outer corners and on the inner corners as well. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of a halo eye. We'll see. This palette does have quite a bit of kick up. Like as soon as you put your brush into the eyeshadow, it's like a, pff, like a lot comes up, but that's not something that really ever bothers me, as you guys know. But I do wanna mention it just in case the only reason you're watching this video is like for the review of the palette. So I do wanna mention every detail I can. I'm gonna go back into the shade Moon Castle. I'm just gonna blend that in my crease. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Anastasia Glitter Adhesive on my finger and I'm going to lightly tap that all over my lid but focusing it in the center. And then I'm gonna take the glitter in the palette and I'm going to pat that all over my lid. But mainly focusing it in the center. And you have to be quick with this glitter adhesive because it dries super fast. Now I'm gonna go back into love and I'm gonna intensify my outer and inner corners a bit more.
Okay, now I'm gonna take the shade Luna on my finger and right where the glitter and the pink meet, I'm gonna apply this shade and I'm gonna do it with my finger. So I'm not crazy about the way that this glitter looks in the center of my lid. I don't know, I guess because of how it looked in the pan, I thought it was gonna come out a little bit darker on my lid. So I'm pretty much gonna cover that up right now. I'm gonna take the shade of Silver Crystal and I'm gonna apply that directly on top of the glitter. This color is really, really pretty. Taking a little fluffy crease brush, dipping it into Moon Castle. I'm just cleaning up my crease, blending away any random little glitters that have traveled on my eyeball. I'm gonna take a little bit of the yellow that's in the palette and I'm gonna add this to my inner corners, but I'm gonna intensify it even more when I'm done with my face and I finish up the eyes. Cause I know a lot of this is gonna get covered right now with concealer. Okay, so I'm almost done with my eyes, but I'm gonna go ahead and start on my face, well, finish my face before I complete the eyes. And I'm just gonna breeze through this part because there are no face products in the Sailor Moon collection except for blush. And I'll be testing that in a second, but first I'm gonna go ahead and apply all my face makeup. I'm using the Smashbox Mindful 5 Tequila Primer. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the brand new Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. I have been dying to try this ever since I saw so many people review it online. It claims it brightens, smooths, firms, hydrates, and evens out the skin. It says they created this foundation to instantly reverse the five effects of fatigue on the skin thanks to an exclusive combination of makeup and skincare. So this foundation is supposed to be a nice combination of both. So yeah, I'm excited to see how it wears and how I feel about it after testing it out a few times. For concealer, I also have something brand new that I haven't tried out. This is from the brand Cosas. I never know how to say this brand. Cosas? Cosas? Co Cosas? I don't know, but I'm gonna be testing this bad boy out today. It feels really hydrating, but the coverage is weird. It's almost like dewy and dry at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I like this or if I don't. It's so strange. I feel like I do, but then as I'm blending it out, it has like this weird consistency, but it looks really nice and fresh. How do I feel? Yeah, I think I like it. Like don't my under eyes look fresh and dewy, right? <laughs> I think it's nice. Oh, you know what'll help me? Maybe if I search it up on Sephora and I read the claims. Because I bought this on Impulse when I saw it on the Just Arrived section at Sephora. But it says it's a medium coverage concealer, eye cream, and spot treatment in one that reveals better looking skin upon application and over time. Oh, it has caffeine. I like that. It has arnica, caffeine, and peptides. I think I like it but I kind of don't. <laughs> the thing is that once you start blending it out, it like messes with the coverage. It has like a bizarre consistency. I don't know if it's because it's like an eye cream as well. Honestly, I don't know. I have to use this a few times. I know, I sound like a broken record at this point, but first impressions just aren't my gig. I really need to test this out a few times before I tell you, no, I don't like it, or yes, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eye makeup now. I'm gonna take Moon Castle on a pencil brush. On a more precise, smaller brush, this one's like all stained and stuff. I'm gonna go in with the shade Miracle Romance, this purple one, and I'm gonna run that across my lower lash line. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank, and I'm gonna use this to line my waterline. I'm 
gonna put a little bit of this concealer right where I wanna put the yellow eyeshadow, just so that the yellow eyeshadow can pop more. Highlight my brow bone a bit, even though I don't think, I feel like this is the exact color of my skin, so I don't know how much highlighting this will do. Oh, I can't find my freaking eyelash curler. So I can't curl my freaking eyelashes. Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna put on my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Ooh, I feel like I gotta throw this one away already. It's looking a little chunky in here. throwing this mascara away. For bronzer, I'm gonna take my Alamar Cosmetics Brighten and Bronze Trio. And this is the Fair Light Palette. They have three different ones, Fair, Medium, and Deep. I, of course, am Gasper. So this is the one I will be using today. I'm actually gonna be mixing both bronzers together and then using the brightener shade underneath the eyes. Okay, before I apply the light powder underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and try out one of these blushes. And this is super exciting because it has Luna on the packaging. I had a dog named Luna once. She was my precious little Jack Russell. And look at this. Oh, this is incredible, guys. I'm not gonna lie, the, I don't know what this is called. This situation is more intense on the blushes. Like when her mouth is closed on the palette, you can still kind of see her mouth open. So you can see like, this is her mouth open. This is it closed and you can still kind of see it versus this. Look at this, guys. Bro, I'm, I'm blown the fuck away. This is the coolest packaging I've ever seen on anything. Dude, I could sit here and do this all day. Wow. So the two shades in the collection are From the Moon, which is this really pretty bright coral, and then Cat's Eye, which is like a really pretty bright coral with glitter. Actually, this one is more pinky than it is coral. This one is more corally. I definitely wish they would have been more different I feel like they're, I mean, they're not the same at all. One has glitter and one is warmer, but I wish it would have had a more drastic difference. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bright color since I'm not crazy about glitter on my cheeks. Oh, I really like this color. I thought it was gonna be too intense, but it's not, it's really pretty. It's a really nice matte. It doesn't look too flat at all. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into my Alamar palette and I'm gonna use the shade Rise and Grind underneath my eyes. And I really like to use this shade after my blush, after my bronzer and my blush, because this shade helps me clean everything up. So it brightens my under eyes, but it also cleans up my blush area, and it just makes everything look nice and smooth and airbrushed and kind of dewy. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that with my brightening brush from Alamar Cosmetics, and I'm gonna hit certain areas of my face. I don't know if you can tell, but you see how dragging it down here by my nose helps blend my blush out, and it kind of helps you push your blush back in case you brought it out too far. So I really like buffing this color into my skin right here. Can you guys tell the difference? I also like using this shade to clean up my contour. And then for highlight, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm only gonna like dip it ever so slightly into this new Milani Highlighter Duo that I just got in the mail. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this really light shade. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna take a little bit of both. And this is super strong, really, really intense, so I'm only gonna barely tap my face.
skin. Okay, I've decided that I wanna use one of the Glitterly Obsessed body glitters on my eyes. I know, wild, I don't recommend it. These are body glitters. They are not meant for the eyes. So honestly, put them on your body. But I wanna add a little bit, like a little touch somewhere. So I'm gonna take the shade Moonlight Legend. They come with two. Look at this packaging, how beautiful. This would be really cool for like Coachella or like somewhere to put on your body or maybe even your hair. It's not meant for your hair, but like in a braid, why not? I'm gonna take Moonlight Legend. It's just like this really beautiful, this glitter is so cool. Should I do it like on my brow bone? Is that weird? That's weird, isn't it? Ah, oh, whatever, let's see. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna take some out here as well, why not? Just to add a little bit of a touch. Okay. I might have overdone it, but you know. What do you guys think? I put it on my brow bone so that I don't get the glitters like too close to my eyes. And I think it looks freaking awesome. Different. I like it. Okay, so for lips, there are two bundles in the collection. They both come with a lip gloss and an ultra blotted lip, which I'm really excited about because I was expecting like a matte lip or something. I'm glad that it's an ultra blotted. I like that. First, I'm going to line my lips though. I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics Jesse Lip Liner. lip liner is a little bit too light for me, but I'm just using this as like a base to kind of overdraw my lips a little bit before I go in with the ultra blotted lip. My lips are so dry after being in New York for a week. Oh my gosh. My body doesn't do well in cold weather, my friends. It does not. I don't know which one to do. Look at this packaging. Oh, do I do the daylight lip bundle or the moonlight lip bundle? This is the moonlight. That's cute. And then this is daylight. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with daylight. <laughs> I will say, ultra blotted lips, well, matte lips in general, they don't look good when your lips are chapped and disgusting. So my lips are looking a little crusty at the moment. Nothing good old lip gloss can't fix. <laughs> A really nice juicy pinky combo i like it okay guys so that completes this video this was a quick get ready with me using the new sailor moon collection from ColourPop. i absolutely love this collection i think the colors are really pretty this palette is so fun i love the color selection you can get a lot of fun pinky looks with this it's so cute everything is really pink and girly and exactly what i would expect from a sailor moon collection there isn't anything here that i look at and i'm like hmm it's not very sailor moony everything is so cute so adorable. I really like everything. I know it's really annoying because this collection sold out like in five freaking seconds. I really, really hope that ColourPop brings it back because this is just too epic to only put in stock once. Come on, ColourPop. Bring it back. Anyway, I give this collection a huge thumbs up. I almost wish there were more in the collection. Like, this is not enough. I need more Sailor Moon things. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I am so excited for this collection. I have never been more excited in my life for a collar, for a collar pop. Look at that, I can't even speak, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm turning in my freaking swivel chair, relax. I try to tell myself and then I forget. <laughs> okay, so for lips, there are two lip bundles in the collection. Porter, calm down. Calm down.